Now, another top story we're following. A Jacksonville woman who was charged with assaulting a police officer after throwing a green substance on him takes her case to trial and avoids jail time. The confrontation between Brittany Williams and police was all caught on video. And today, Tark Miner spoke with her attorney about the trial's outcome. And many of you may remember this video that you see here. Brittany Williams initiated this confrontation with a JSO officer parked in her driveway. She says police officers used excessive force after the confrontation and entered her home without a warrant and assaulted her during her arrest. After months of legal maneuvering, the case went to trial this week. No, 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 stop. Please, please stop. Brittany Williams says it all started when she noticed the Jacksonville police officer sitting in her driveway. I didn't want to alert him, so I even made sure I waved so that he could catch me in his peripheral vision. Police, however, say the officer informed Williams he had just finished a call and was checking emails and says Williams told the officer to get out of her driveway before throwing a spoon with a green facial cleansing substance at the officer while he was in the car. The officer then called for backup. And when backup arrived, they tried to take Williams into custody. She kicked one officer in the growing, and as officers wrestled her into handcuffs, police say a loaded handgun fell from her clothes. Williams was arrested and charged with battery on a law enforcement officer and resisting arrest. After a two-day trial, the jury acquitted Williams on the assault charge, but convicted her of resisting police without violence. Williams' lawyers tell News for Jax the evidence presented in the case was irrelevant and prejudicial. We're extremely glad that the jury returned a verdict of not guilty. However, we do feel that Ms. Williams and her family have had to endure an extreme injustice, you know, having to deal with this case. And we do believe that if the judge did not allow in certain types of evidence, such as uh, a threat and the firearm uh, in this case, that the jury would have in fact returned a, a verdict of not guilty. On all charges. Williams was sentenced to six months probation, ordered to undergo mental health evaluations and anger management, and she has to write a letter of apology to an officer. He's the one who came into her home, smashed out her two front teeth, twisted her arm, causing permanent nerve damage in her arm, which is outrageous. You know, if anyone was you know, should be ordered to write a letter of apology in this case, it should be the officers to our client, Ms. Williams. Attorneys for Williams also take issue with the mental health counseling Williams is ordered to undergo as part of her probation. They say Williams has never had mental health issues, counseling, or has been ever on mental health medication. Tom?